Good morning. Look at this sweet puppy. It's a sunny but wintry day. It's so cold. It's 45 degrees. We are kicking butt watching Gilmore Girls. So we really want to watch the Gilmore Girls feature that was released on Netflix. I mean, I think it was still like a couple of years ago um, where it shows them in the future. We really want to watch it, but we have to finish watching the actual show first. And so the past couple of days, we've just had it like continuously going throughout the day. And I think we have like three seasons left. So maybe by the weekend, we'll get to watch that. Um, but we had James's one month checkup today at his pediatrician and it went really well. He gained 12 ounces in 14 days, which the doctor was really happy about. Um, everything else is on track. Really, there wasn't like any updates. He is going to go on vitamin D drops, which I guess is like common for all babies too. It's not like something caused that. Um, but our doctor just recommends it. And then we actually are going to have an ultrasound of his hips in like a couple of weeks. Um, basically because he was breached for so long, his legs were um, not straight and they were all like tight and curled up for a significant amount of time. And so the doctors always recommends making sure that his hips are like developed fine while he was in the womb. Oh, he did get his hepatitis B vaccine today. He got it when he was in the hospital, um, when he was just born. And then, so he had a, a one month checkup today. He would typically have it at two months, but they decided to just spread them out a little bit so he doesn't get, um, there's like other vaccines that he'll get at two months, so he won't get as many then. So that's our doctor update. And I'm just getting the vlog up. Peter's working and hopefully we will leave the house today. We got some roasted zucchini, peppers, pineapple, onion for dinner, and like a soy sweet sauce. And then some noodles with some soy sauce gravy I made. It's basically the mushroom gravy with no mushrooms. <laughs> I need a haircut desperately. Yeah. You're done with work for the day? I shouldn't be, but I'm going to be. Thank the good Lord. Where in the world did the Brookhearts end up? Tonight. We've come on a mission and it was to enjoy colder weather outfits. Mm -hmm. It's like it's 50 something 50, degrees. 52 degrees right now. Yeah. Dropping through the night. Feels so good. And we're gonna go try to see the Grand Floridian tree that we missed by hours <laughs> a few weeks ago. Yep. Monorail. But yeah, it's pretty pretty desolate when the park closes as early as it does. We are taking a little break. James is a little hungry. I had to go to the bathroom. Sarah needs some water. And we haven't seen the tree here. And we have not seen the tree. Should I go check it out? Yeah. It's definitely like one of the more understated ones. One of the more modest ones. But I always love coming to see it. Here's the tree. I also feel like the music playing here at the Great Ceremony House is awesome and very Hawaiian because it's like off kilter Christmas music. We got pineapples decorations, the flowers, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm also going to sneak in here. Shh, don't tell anyone. Here's, this is the first time I'm seeing the Dreams Wishes Come True Blue collaboration with Make-A-Wish. Really cool. I like the hat and I actually don't mind that for Eve. It's interesting how a lobby can look so magical on holiday like but so different and strange. You hear construction going on, the white fogged out glasses. It's still open in a gorgeous Polynesian lobby. But just in a little state of holiday alteration. Look at this sweet sleepy angel. <laughs> I love this outfit. He's so cozy. He is. Oh 
Oh my goodness. And all the poinsettias. Garland. Wow. We got little trees. Oh, he thinks he's doing it. We hid upstairs until the lobby cleared out. Mm -hmm. We have literally the whole thing ourselves. Yeah. So we were told that Wes was back, the piano player. Um, but our timing just didn't work out. They also don't have any like times, times posted for like his performances. We absolutely love Wes, the piano player, and we'll see him soon. But it's kind of like the the root of what started us to come tonight, which is kind of funny uh -huh. considering we probably should have realized that we wouldn't get to Grand Flurry until after nine, which probably was the past the last set. We didn't end up getting right. until close to nine thirty. Yeah. But it's, that right? we haven't seen the tree or the decorations yeah. or smell the smells. Look at him looking at you. Yeah. I think he's fine at the mask. I think the ears, the Santa ears are still messing <laughs> with him a little bit. He's like, who is holding me? James is officially one month old today. Look at that moon go. We are starting our trek back. It feels warmer right yeah. now mm -hmm. than it was when we... Oh, I just kicked the wheel. <laughs> That's we got the, the worst. We got the white noise machine going. Hopefully, little boy will stay asleep the rest of the way. Yeah, he was good and out, and we got him in there kind of cautiously. Yeah. I so. truly forgot that the monorail wasn't <laughs> a thing at this time. Um, it's not a bad walk whatsoever, but I just want him to be... So happy. He is. He is. I have a question for everybody. Okay. For the for the regular viewers, who remembers the the wrath of Peter Brookhart's styes? Oh gosh. I don't know if it's been noticeable in the vlogs, but uh -huh. I'm rocking a nasty one right now. Well, look where we are. Wendy's drive-through. So we found a location that has the pub burger. Here is this burger. It looks a lot more glamorous on the TV, but it still smells really good and hope it's worth the belly ache. So today is mine and Peter's 12 year dating anniversary. And what was funny is when we were at the Grand Floridian, we were gonna go to Enchanted Rose and we saw all this like food going by when we were um, sitting. We were gonna go there and have a treat, like get a little appetizer or something. Um, but just with the timing and us not wanting to like be in those close quarters, we were like, oh no, like we don't have to do any, like our anniversary, like we don't always do something for our anniversary, but we always like an excuse to get a treat. And so on our way home, we were like, anniversary treat? Wendy's um, and then really quick I think Colin asked in our comment section about us going back to like not being fully vegan we kind of talked about it today we're kind of, we're basically like 80 20 like we still are buy plant-based and whatnot and eat it at home um, and I would say there we are finding specific things don't agree with us. Like I cannot do eggs anymore. Um, and then oh, also, yeah, but Peter's been fine with eggs. And then another thing that doesn't agree with me is chicken. I have not had a good chicken experience last night. I did not have a good chicken experience. I like how it tastes so much, but um, so yeah, it's just kind of like, it's kind of nice because now, we're able to see what makes us feel good and what makes us feel not so good and then we can decide that way how um what we do and don't include in our diet but again we're still like 80 20 we would say like plant-based compared to our little splurges here and there so fitting this Nemo music this is our spotify year, yearly recap Oh. Top song, song of, the of the year. year. This is on our playlist to that's go to bed. Right, yeah. Top song. Oh, Paper Man. Yeah, they, that's yeah this all. is your, this is our whole go to bed. Yeah, let's have a good night playlist. The final month of this calendar. Hey, I gotta add in Luca's birthday. Can you believe that Luca's gonna be one, not the 10th? I cannot, okay. This month's quote. For a long time it had seemed to me that life was about to begin real life 
but there was always some obstacle on the way, something to be gotten through first, some unfinished business, time still to be served, or a debt to be paid. Then life would begin. At last it dawned on me that those obstacles, that these obstacles were my life. I, I genuinely don't know what that abbreviation is for. What is it? F-R? Father? Yeah. Oh, Father Alfred D'Souza. The quote of the day. Tell, Tell me, me what, what is what? it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life, Mary Tell, tell me, what is it? Oh. <laughs> what? Today was the day number two of two terrible, terrible work days. But then luckily... Terrible, two terrible? Yeah, they were. My two best friends, two of my best friends, brought me out and we had a great night. And I came home and my third best friend, who's quite furry, Topped it off with some fun plays. What? What? These three little weirdos <laughs> oh. saved the day for me. We should have gone to McDonald's as that was our, like, our, I mean, we've always loved McDonald's. We've I'm gonna say. Together, we've been dating 12 years. Yeah. We all, we're getting old. We're still dating. Isn't it crazy that 12 years ago I used to be more than a best friend? And 12 years exactly, we have this thing. Yeah. Did you know that Peter asked him to be his girlfriend while we were working on a grammar packet? That's how long ago it was. And guess who knows no grammar? Me. I was too busy. No, you know, you got like a perfect score in your PSATs. No, it was our ACTs. I got like a zero. I didn't get a perfect score on my ACT. I just got a perfect score, score writing, on the essay. Which, what has to do with that? Grammar. No, I just write elaborate sentences. I can write a, a sick email. But that has all to do with grammar. I can write a, an elaborate email. It's all gibberish. You guys, you listen to no. me talk all day long. No. no. Wait a minute. My head looks like that. <laughs> my hair looks look crazy too. The goal is to get a haircut tomorrow. I'm so sorry. Do you guys everybody. like my holly jolly Christmas? These are for wilderness lodge, but I broke them out for that. It's like 1:40 in the morning. Oh gosh, it's good to be. Oh, <laughs> it is. It's good to be home. <laughs> good to be home. She's going to be better at vlogging tomorrow. <laughs> what did I do? It is, it, 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 it is good to be home. Clunk, clunk. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.